picking up right where we left off. Time to go check and see if these two are still asleep since I did a short rest. Indeed they are, perfect. And now that I have a headband of warped intellect, my intelligence shot up from 10 to 17. Not bad. Make save right here. Chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. I only got a plus three from this. Hmm. Well, at least on each successive load, it's not wasting my time anymore. Just each successive roll. I know some people won't like that I'm safe scumming, but with the the route I'm going to be playing this here very soon, I do want to farm up as much companion and sprue roll as possible to see who is willing to take the plunge with me and who will abandon me. Maybe I should use guidance too. A little too eager to hit that roll button. There we go. You blink and the wilderness changes. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. It'll all be worth it. What happened to the sheep? Moving in. A diminutive creature sporting a red hat glares at you. You recognize the red cap, a fey creature known for its bloodlust. <laughs> that noise. Is the creature pretending to be a sheep? <laughs> Perfect. Just what I wanted. Approval from both companions. And we get to torture a red cap, which is hilarious. Again? This creature doesn't realize you can see its true form. How much approval can I get from just buying at these red caps? Oh, I guess that's the limit. Now then there is a... Uh, well, something that we're really after on these red caps. You can see it on their backs. Well, at least the ones that aren't sages. And those sickles are very special sickles. Because they deal... Uh, they deal an extra d4 of damage for being a, a effectively a dagger class weapon. Can't risk being in open view. So, when we fight them, we want to make sure that we have a disarming attack available. And maybe I can disarm them from range, and then that'll really lower their lethality to me as well. You're gonna walk on the trap. You can't really, you can't get these um, sickles anywhere else in the game. This is, as far as I know, this is the only place to get it. And it's harder to get it from them. You, in early access, you used to be able to get it from their corpses after they died, but that was patched out, it seems.
Don't mind me. Can't afford any mistakes. So I, I found that the only way to actually get what I want is to uh, disarm these red caps, and that'll still give you at least up to two. Or potentially three. I want to say three. It's kind of a pain to get it off of these. But it is what I want to try and do here. And if I can do it from stealth, that'd be even better. Oh. So much for doing that from stealth. <laughs> How do I not have enough movement? Only 50 on that. Perfect. So that is how you get a 2d4 sickle. Actually, I'll send that to my main character. Now then, Lysel is in deep trouble, and we need Lysel to keep using her superiority die to forcefully take the Red Cap's weapons. I am fury. I am death. Because I want at least one more sickle, and if I think I just, I'm pretty sure if I just kill them, the sickle won't spawn on their corpse. So the only way to two actually take the weapon I want is to uh, disarm the other one. Oh right, I'm in stealth. So I can actually get closer. And the enemies are stuck. Long range, perfect. This one even got banged. What do you have? Okay. Maybe I can kill that one. <laughs> There's the other sickle I want. Surprise round is over. Let's have some carnage. <sighs> Mm, actually, this should be a good funnel if they'll funnel into me, but I'm not sure if they will. On the move. <laughs> right, Lazel's hasted or er, has a momentum charge. Oh, I need superiority die. Oh. Oops, we should have fled combat then. Need another short rest. Hmm. Because he used all the superiority die in the ogre fight. Alright. Let's see what I can do here. Don't I have... Some speed potions somewhere in here.
Perfect. <laughs> Trying to get some superiority die back. I want my other sickle. Oh, too late. Perfection. So instead of four to nine damage, one to seven. What? One d six plus three versus. 2d4 minus 1. Why is it minus 1? Am I proficient? Yeah. I don't understand why the damage is so low. Alright then. Yeah, you know, was your superiority dice back? And hopefully that'll put us right where we were. Onward. Not one false move. Oh. Well, they're not angry at us anymore. Okay. Into the shadows. Or maybe they didn't know it was us. Interesting. Worth examining. <clears throat> I didn't expect them to not be hostile anymore. That's a really bad spot for him to stand, so I kind of want him to either come over to us, or... Something... No, no, I don't want to talk to you. you did the deed. How was your little... You... I thought the two of you would just flop about... Uh, but you're not here to gossip. Well... This calls for careful. Saved. It's annoying. Make way. There's no way I can get that close. Oh, apparently I can. Hmm, I should save. Perfect. I will take the other sickle. Excellent. Now die. Cloak and dagger. Don't hit in turn while everyone else isn't stealth, just continue killing them. Path it now. Move up and not a sound. No, come on, man. Really? We got the high ground and everything. Very well, then. Ha! 
Hmm, he rolled a high enough initiative to go before them. Perfect. Looking ahead. Breathe deep and move. I don't think uh anti health will be too mad at me for doing that. Why is it using strength as these we for these weapons instead of dex? That's why I'm at minus one. What? I think they tried to like cleverly patch out this weapon or make it bad for rogues then. It's intentional that it's a... Uh, it's 2d4. It's using strength and not dex. But it's light. Hmm. We'll see what happens after I level up and get um, a perk then. In fact, how much does this do? 5 to 15. I know which character has a whole bunch of strength. 5 to 11. So seven at a minimum up to 19. So having both sickles on my cell actually deals more damage and she gets an offhand attack. <laughs> like, there's still a character that can abuse this weapon even if it's not a rogue. <laughs> Love it. No time to rest. Well, let's see what dear old auntie has to say about that. I don't and don't be off it feed gods. Grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Alright, just to make sure that this bug is actually a bug. Keep that hole under your nose shut. Don't bother. You'd only subject us to her inevitable What is it? What's going on? We oh, yeah. <clears throat> I fought your brothers, but I didn't kill them. I only knocked them out. What? No! Dead! Everyone's dead! How are they dead? They're knocked out. Such dramatics. Larian. What? Larian, no! why? Why does the voice line play twice? Everyone. Such dramatics. Act one was supposed to be bug free. Blessed silence at last. Some time in the cage should do her good. And you, you'll regret sticking your nose in my business. Oh, well, it, it doesn't necessarily change the outcome. I was still going to end up getting her to transform and do what she does next. So I guess this is faster. Used a potion of invisibility. Oh, that needs a long rest. My, my, my. Need to keep focused. Off I go. I'm ready. Over here. I can just walk into homes now. This gets better and better. Ignis! Oh! <laughs> Lucky shot. Well, I didn't know where she was. Hmm. That'll put her in... Er, another fight. Let's go. That'll make it so I'm threatening. Another day, another fight. Got 
Wow. Defense is really high. Heading there. This game has some weird quirks at times. There we go. Victory awaits. Make way. Oh yeah. I would very much like to try both of these weapons, but that's too bad. Suppose we'll settle for a ranged attack then. Nice. Is that used in action? Bye bye, lovelies. Oh. I can't have gone far. Well, I guess she's gone. May the darkness protect you. Thanks. Well, I guess while I'm here, might as well loot the place. It's not like I, I clearly don't respect Ethel anymore. But she definitely wasn't expecting me to go completely hostile like that. <clears throat> Maybe I shouldn't stand on the uh, burning fireplace. The camera is being extra wonky in here. There's plenty of good stuff just laying around, so might as well take it all. And then alchemy ingredients, so. Who knows how useful those alchemy ingredients will be or not, but since they have their own pouch, I don't think it hurts anything to just grab them up. place is littered in uh, potions of healing. Pretty impressive actually. Gilded motor and pestle, that's probably worth a little bit of money. <laughs> now I'm encumbered. Very well, very well, I'll be encumbered. Lizelle, if you would hold some of this heavy stuff, I would appreciate it. Oh, Lump's Horn is actually pretty heavy. All right. No, it's either both sickles that I wield that are 2d4 slashing instead of 1d4, or the rapiers when I get uh, the feed I'm looking for. So, there's that. I think that'll be enough inventory management for a little while. Spoiled tentacle tart. I wonder where she's getting that. <laughs> or what she's using to make it tentacle tart, I should say. Swift as my feet can carry me. 
I'm sure it's fine to just pick up uh, meat that looks like it's probably been rotting. It'll eat just fine. Alright. Uh, fairy fire needs a long rest. And I kind of want fairy fire for what's coming next. And I can more than afford a long rest, and I definitely think I should. I wonder where this will put me. The air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. The ache builds as you squeeze. Chukil Gake Vlaketh Mazathok! Can you feel it crawling through you? I can. I will be quick with my. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. Oh! We even had advantage on that. Well, I wonder what's gonna happen next. It feels as if a snake is slithering through. This is not. Close your eyes. Submit. Shiver run Lazel spear grips the great warrior Lazel, a failure to her kind. She will wield no silver sword. Run ah, I cannot trust my own mind. So it seems mm, I must trust I yours. I will wait. But know this. I am watching. I will end. This cutscene is way different from early access. In time, you are transforming. Yes, you have. I saved you before. And I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a Mind Flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. much time so listen closely there is great potential within you it comes from that parasite your instinct is to resist the power it gives but you must accept it nurture it I will keep it from consuming you but for the sake of both of us you must learn to wield it for both of us huh? Oh. 
A fight for the fate of Faerun. A fight we are losing. For now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. Okay. Wake now. You'll feel better. I promise. <laughs> that was awesome. So, hey, Scratch is here. So that was a whole bunch of new just info dumb. <laughs> All right. Gail will approve. Good. It's been pretty hard to get Gail and Will to approve of anything. And Asterion's gonna... Asterion will come along anyway, so... Right. So we'll see if Will and Gale will join us. Those will be the hardest two to probably convince anyway, because they have their good-natured ways. Did you have any strange dreams of late? Damn. It was this dream companion... Want... It seems like we can't escape this mess, in the waking world or otherwise. I'm not sure what else I can say, at least until I can remember more. Often, I think I feel her influence when the wound pains me. Not even memories, just glimpses, impressions. Perhaps the wound is her doing. Something Lady Shah bid her to do. I don't know. Fine. What's on your mind? Does it even need to be asked? We're beyond me merely liking you. I had the strangest dream last night. Uh, there was a visitor promising me protection and all sorts of delicious powers from the parasites in our heads. Given our shared affliction, I suppose you had a similar dream. Excellent. Now we can see what these tadpoles can do for us. Exactly. Waste not, want not. Even when it comes to mind flare parasites. Now, was there anything else? Galek. I had a dream. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while Cl the parasite has taken root, it would seem. Every word, every promise, it is gate deception. A wise choice. These parasites are a threat to be destroyed. I had a dream last night. Someone came to me and promised, tempting as these powers sound. No good ever came from trusting a honey tongue. I wouldn't advise it. Play with fire. Karlak's fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus. As my sword, one of the arch devils, Ariel's own. Chaos incarnate. Her. She fled from my reach. I can't bear to imagine the lives. A powerful friend with a keen interest in. Pro All right. What else is on your mind? A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, 
But that story is reserved for lifetime friends and cut by all. What else is on your mind? My father once said, one does not pursue a champion's life. So it was for me. I was hunting near the cloakwood when I, I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. I don't remember much of the battle. No, but he named me friend. But what of the others? In the boy's tears, the frontiers demanded a blade. Baldur's Gate, born and raised. He wanted one life for me. A, a classic drama. <laughs> a staunch father and his rebellious son. Better. Spare me a moment. We've been traveling together for a while. It's a rather personal matter that I... You see... I have this condition. No, no, nothing like that. Though if I fail to treat it, then the con... What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb... Oh, staffs, tomes, cowls. The form doesn't matter. It's been days since I last... And by that, I mean it's imperative that I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest po... A fair point. The reality of the matter is that a lone wizard with a chronic impairment such as my own... The manner of artifacts I need are not often found. There'll be danger involved. Or great cost. Valid question. If not out of the simple goodness of your heart... Having a wizard like me around is... Please! Trust me! Your help could be the difference between life and... As luck would have it. You're already primed to give me exactly what I need. Thank you. Magic, it's a metaphorical demon. I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. My words? Sincerely, though. I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. I obtained it in Waterdeep. Nothing there comes cheap. Well, that was fascinating. <clears throat> kind of. He didn't really unfold his story like I thought he would. But that's to be expected. Alright, we got a good long rest in. They're staying in their camp and foot close now. Odd. Alright. There's something I've been wanting to share with you. If Now's a good time. No. The opposite. I feel like I can share this with you. I've never felt that way before. It's difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. Use the tadpole. The connection. Come into my mind. Uh, okay. I don't remember how it started. Only how it ended. I was fleeing. Oh, right, I did see something on her character sheet that said she was afraid of wolves.
she asked my name. I can't remember what I said. I can't remember anything before those woods. All I know is she saved my life. And gave me a new home. With Lady Shah. <laughs> it hurts. That's all I remember. Oh. Normally I'd agree. But with you, it's getting easier by the moment. All right, cool. Fine. What's on your mind? How are you holding up? Don't be so modest. I can't remember the last time I met someone like you. Perhaps I never did. And never will again. <laughs> no take six backsies, okay? <laughs> it's awesome that it, uh, uh, I got that getting all these character interactions now because <laughs> what we're gonna do next is really gonna test you Ooh. well maybe not in here and then we'll go deal with the get yankee and then all sorts of things Ooh, even more feats excellent Deception and performance? No. Nah. No. Also no. Nope. In melee range? Nah. Sounds nice. I think this is what I'm going to go for. This will allow me to do wield rapiers, or hopefully both of those sickles. Hmm, that one could be really good too. Perception checks are, are, are almost everything and sometimes. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Mobile is also pretty good. Ability score improvement is obviously also good, but I'm, I'm going to take dual wielder. I just want to see what's available, since I will be going through this menu a few times now. Pole arms, I don't think I've, I see many people using, so it could be really awesome to see a uh, like a reach rogue build or something uh, happen with pole arm, because I know that was that's one of the stronger builds out there in D and D. Maybe not in Baldur's Gate 3, we'll have to see. Ooh, that could be fun for a melee build, or a, or a unarmed build. I've always wanted to try that, so maybe next character I will. And that would go really well with Orc, like an Orc playthrough, because that sounds like fun. Yep, okay. 
I know what I want. Now let's see if I can wield the weapons I want to be wielding. It's well be done. If not, it's the rapiers, which is something I planned for. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. We only plus one. All right, fine. That's a. It's still a substantial damage boost. It is unfortunate that I can't use those sickles. What's next, I wonder? Alright, cleric level ups. These are pretty straightforward. Hmm. She already has the, con the cantrip firebolt, so no need for that. Sure. I'm very tempted to respec Shadowheart from Trickster to Life, just so that way I have a actual cleric that heals really good, but we'll see how it shakes out. Everything looks good here though. Hmm. The real question is what feet should I go from here? Because that's really nice. It's probably the best stat allocation I could do. I don't think anything else is better than that. Perhaps Warcaster for concentration. Yeah, the fact that they had to add a reaction to cast Shocking Grasp my enemies moving out of melee range makes me think that Warcaster might not be as good as it normally is. So I'll just go for the ability improvement. What a day. I am really thinking about Dungeon Delver here. Dual wielder is also really good. Because I can get two more rapiers. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go for dual wielder again. Sounds like a great way to just make combat even more straightforward and simple. Instead of have to put a whole bunch of thought into it, I can just roll up and dish out the damage. Because has a lot of interesting options. Great weapon masters, great... Of course, right now she's not wielding a, a heavy weapon. But again, even it's just a melee weapon that you kill a target with, you can make another attack. So this is one of the ways you can make Lazel have an alpha strike of six attacks. And it's honestly really good. The other option is ability improvement, I think. She's proficient all the way up to heavy armor anyway, I want to say, and with all weapons, so there's nothing else that really stands out except for mobile. I think this is how I'll go. Lizo. Ah, 
that, and I think that actually deals more damage than the Everburn Blade. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Yeah, where am I? I've got a long road ahead. Excellent. So we just massively got a power up. Oh, let's send those to a steering. Do you even have other repeaters? I don't. Four seven four to nine. So that's plus two damage. The dagger. That dagger is still really good. But I can sacrifice that to Gale if I need to as well. Can't afford to stay idle. You are as thick as they call this is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an Oh the cocky ones are my f keep going pickle. Okay, we'll keep going. Please please Basically don't interact with any of these. <laughs> There's a lot of horrifying things here. Uh, unless you want to be horribly cursed. Don't mess around with any of this stuff. Okay, so notice the masks on here. And now that I'm very pointedly going to point out. <clears throat> let's see here. I think, I think I gave it to her, didn't I? No, I didn't. I'm going to go into the spell list and purposely point out protection from good and evil and specifically the line that says target cannot be charmed frightened or possessed by them by anything good or evil so there's a there's a hint for doing this regularly but there's also another way don't mess with the masks at all instead you don't have to stealth I just did but notice how I'm moving the character. I'm pressing and holding the uh, movement key, the left mouse button to move the character. And now I'm going to move towards the door. Don't look. Don't. So there's a there's a big secret to get through that area, and the fun doesn't stop here. Or it doesn't stop there, I should say. Now then, I should probably enter turn-based mode before one of them turns around and sees me. So the Mask of Vengeance and the Mask of Terror are the ones you really want to watch out for when you're in here. Mm, it's too bad he's facing this way. Don't waste a step. Let's see if I can actually get over there or not. Oh, been spotted. Great. And I rolled low on my initiative, so they get to move around, which is really bad. Yes, Auntie. I'll break them. Cause that happened now. So frightened, I can't go towards them. And I don't know if I can attack them or not. Disadvantage for frightened. On everything. Cool. That looks really bad. Oh, immobile. Can't move. And all these extra attacks are... Bother. Mm. 
All right, we'll come back to you. Are you still, are you frightened too? Deal damage to remove this condition. Perfect. Just what I want to see. That won't work. That sucks. So there's one pawn you want to stay away from, and that is the two-handed pawn. And you do not want to hit the two-handed pawn with a melee attack at all. <laughs> My feet. Word to the wise. <clears throat> ah, no bonus action for that, unfortunate. I don't want a disarming attack. I want to use that faint attack. But Again. Um, which, we do need to try an alpha strike through this. Having this person alive Again. is very bad. Try something else. <laughs> Literally can't. Oh. Mm, servitudes. This is really bad. I probably should have saved. I think I did save. It's especially bad because they're starting to close into melee range. This fight is very swingy. You can go. <laughs> you can very easily go uh, one way versus the other very quickly. Okay, do we have a disengage action? Luckily, we do. Alright, that's one major problem down. Now we want to move away from that melee pawn that's coming at us. <laughs> oh good, they made their wisdom save. Good, good, good. Keep going. We want them to make their wisdom saves, because then they stop fighting us for a little bit. Now then you can... You can just leave these people alone and not absolutely slaughter them. And I'm not sure if you can save them or not. But it's in your best interest to, to deal with them one way or the other. Too bad I need advantage on that attack. Uh. I will take 80% chance to hit. That's not bad. Time to move. Time to strike. Oh. 
I guess this is actually really good having high ground versus that one. I probably should use the potion of speed. I might use that next turn. I won't. Hmm. I think it's probably a bad idea to stay in. Well, it's definitely a bad idea to stay in melee range of this one. But never make a melee action against this pawn. Because <laughs> it will be instantly countered and you will be hit for almost all of your health. Oh, we're nearing up on an hour of this episode. I gotta. I'm gonna try to wrap this fight up and then we'll end the video after this fight. Just trying to see what I can do here without. Um. Okay, good enough. <laughs> Spiritual weapon, yeah. Because I'll deal force damage. I don't know. Is that a concentration? No. Alright, perfect. Shadow Heart should be okay for a little bit there. Death's close at hand. Okay. Vesterion, just get up over here. Ah, it's too bad I can't sneak attack. Perfect. Where do I go from here? Healers down, which is excellent. Now I just have to deal damage to not take damage. Okay. My character might end up kicking the bucket next turn, that's fine. I am fury. I am death. Just wanna keep working on this character as much as I can. Okay, that's the most dangerous one down. This is should be an easy fight now. My path be true. Need to change the destination of where you're trying to go. Perfect. Not now. Get that spirit weapon over there. That is why I picked the halberd to have extra range. Although it can fly, which is should be fine. Try to get it close enough to that it threatens. To let up. If I can have multiple spirit weapons out, that would be kind of bananas. But I'm not sure that's how that works. You don't have any potions. A better position. This is fine. Victory awaits. You do have a potion. So here's a clever way to use a health potion. Path is interrupted. One, four. Throw the health potion onto the victim. In my best interest. Oh. 
Oh, we could have made a melee attack. That would have been a lot better. Oh well. They're still in threatened range now. If they try to run away, they will take multiple attacks of opportunity. There we go. That'll do. What am I to do? Alright, so they're all wearing the masks, and they were all under control of Anti Ethel. Don't waste a step. Anti was feeling kinda mean today, so this place makes my skin crawl. Yep. Oops. That Warhammer, I believe, is it one? Is that a one or two handed? I don't think that's the weapon I want. We'll go get that till they sell. Might as well pick up some alchemy ingredients while we're here. Oh, what was that over there? I don't really care. Now, I think you can actually save this one. But I, I'm not really sure how. We'll finish looting here and loot that little wicker cabinet or wicker chest thing. Oh, a longbow. I believe I can give that to Lizelle as well. Lizelle should be uh, proficient. So I'll select Lizelle from this side to check. Lysel is proficient. Excellent. That's plus two damage. Let's get going. <laughs> and more healing potions. All right. That'll do for this episode. I'm gonna uh, can keep going do a short rest there. Use potions to heal back up. Uh. Let's see here. I need to split up some potion stacks and give everybody at least two. And then I can split these up as well. Give greater healing to people who are actually going to be in melee. Vestarian two more. Okay. Yeah, I give Vestarian two more. That should be the potions pretty much evenly divided. How delicious. Oh. Perfect. So that that fight was kind of a mess, but as long as you understand what you're doing, you can recover. All right, that'll end, that'll end the episode there. I'll see you in the next one.